Hi, this is Farz and welcome back to Farzaluzi and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn any photo into a vector graphics using Photoshop and Illustrator. And this is a very, very useful skills uh, in terms of logo design and t-shirt design. So, let's get started. A normal photo or a raster based photo made up of pixels and Photoshop works with raster based images. But Illustrator works with vector graphics. Vector graphics is lossless. That means you can scale it to any size without losing quality. That's really cool, right? And it is very helpful uh, for logo design. Okay, at first time to create a new document. So I'm going with 2000 pixels by 2000 pixel resolution 300 with white foreground color just hit the create here and this is your canvas now just import your photo go to the file then place embedded and open your photos and i want to convert these beautiful words to vector okay so at first we need to remove the background for this i'm just using select subject option from here okay it has done a pretty good job but there are some areas you need to fix okay we want to add this area and also this area so i'm using a uh, polygonal lasso tool and to add this area press and hold shift key you will find a plus icon and that means you can add the area and if you press option or alt key you will see a uh, negative icon or minus icon that means you can remove the area so this time press and hold shift key and just select those area to add in the selection same with this part that's good i think the others are looking really really good and now just hit the mask option that's done okay that's good but i don't want the whole pad i just want the head portion here uh, so i need to remove this part so you can use any selection tool here i'm using curvature pen tool to make a uh, elliptical shape here so let's see yep that's good okay now press and hold option key click on this point and just select this area again press and hold option key and click on this point that's good now right click on the mouse and select here make selection okay now press b to select the brush and paint with a black brush make sure you have selected the mask that's good that's really really good okay now convert this to a smart object right click on the mouse and convert to smart object press command and t or control and t to resize it like this press uh, press and hold shift and alt option and resize it like this that's good okay and now convert it to a black and white picture for this go to the image adjustment and here select black and white option that's good now i want to add a little bit of uh, extra sharpness so for this go to the filter and open it on camera or filter okay i want to add more details to it so for this just i want to increase the contrast a little bit and come to the effects and increase the texture and clarity a lot yes but if you think it's too dark you can come into the shadows option and just increase the values of the shadows okay i think this is good now press okay and now the last step in photoshop go to the filter filter gallery filter gallery yes it is okay it looks really good you need to use just one option in the sketch section click on the stamp and just experiment with this light dark balance slider and find the best result for you i think for me around 14 is looking good actually depends uh, on your picture so maybe you need another value i'm just going with 15 this time for this picture that's look good now press okay look at this it's already looking good but still this is a raster based picture it is not 
vector it is not lossless if you zoom in you can see it's not lossless okay so we need to convert this to a vector image and for this we need to go to the illustrator so let's go to the illustrator again hit the new file and i'm going with the exact same setting 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels okay great okay that's good now you need to bring this one to the illustrator okay let's rasterize this layer first and now just drag it to the illustrator like this okay that's good now uh make it bigger by pressing shift and option key and just make it bigger okay that's fine now okay i'm using uh the workstation essential classic okay so if you select this, the photo you will find the image trace option here just click on this and look at this it's done it's actually done look at this look at this it's already a vector graphics right now but but we have some more options to experience just click on this image trace panel and come to this advanced option and reduce the noise all the way down to get the details look at this right now you can experiment with the threshold paths and corners uh, slider too to get the desired result i think let's decrease the threshold a little bit and that's really really good okay uh, just select the ignore white color ignore background color or color you can select the white color right now it has uh, right now they removed all the white part of your photo and now look at this look at this okay now just hit this expand option to complete your task and look at this now you can increase it to any size without losing the quality or pixels look at this it's really really beautiful you can sense the color also very easily from here and it's done now you just need to export it you can you can export it to uh, export it to png files a pz file and others files too you can also save it as a ai file or uh, eps file from here so that's very very easy and it's done so if you love this tutorial if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe